angels how are we doing <laughs> how has it been welcome back to our channel thank you so much for all the love and care you showed me based on the last video i posted on this channel and i'm grateful i'm very grateful i pray god to bless you more even so today from the title you already know what we're going to be discussing this is tourism in saudi arabia i know i made a video about it but it wasn't just about tourism it was about tourism and other stuff but right now i'm going to be making uh, this video on tourism alone and i call it saudi arabia tourism 101 all you need to know the basic things you have to uh, you need to know and the things you need to come with when you're coming for tourism I'm saying this based on experience not because I have lived here for some time But because I've actually visited some of these places and I can tell you exactly how they look I can tell you exactly what to expect. I can tell you exactly uh, What may happen or may not happen while you're on this a tourism journey right so let's just get into the video meanwhile thank you so much for all those who asked me a lot of questions on tourism this is for you I know Saudi Arabia has been announcing and campaigning and advertising um, her country for tourism and it is I mean it is something that is okay because it's worth it that's the simple truth that opening up like I said that loosening up as I said and it is to their benefit because they're going to be making a whole lot of money from all this and it's just a division they have and that is what you get from a very visionary leader so let's get into the video meanwhile uh, before you come to Saudi Arabia for tourism I know you must have been traveling to other uh, cities or other countries and you have uh, like basic knowledge on what tourism is all about the basic things you need and how to go about you have to do is to get your visa so you have to apply and get your visa there is e-visa actually there's electronic visa for tourism in Saudi Arabia so all you need to do is apply and within minutes you will get your visa getting your visa is one then you book your ticket of course you know all this routine now coming for tourism in a place like this just know within you that saudi arabia is a muslim country it's an islamic country but that does not mean they are not uh, uh, tolerant to other religions they are quite tolerant the saudi arabian people are very 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 accommodating very hospitable very very receptive i must tell you this based on my personal experience not because uh, they paid me for this this is not a paid advert but i'm just saying based on my experience and when you're coming here just make sure you are a free-spirited individual you are um, you are very free i mean to explore not uh, exploring based on what you heard about this place you need to come here and experience this place firsthand and i'm telling you this you need to come here experience this place firsthand and because you're coming for tourism i mean it's going to be a fun loaded journey for you yes it's going to be full filled with fun yes that's the simple truth so once you are coming here just know your point of entry it could be Riyadh uh, King Khalid International Airport it could be King Abdulaziz International Airport Jeddah it could be Abha it could be Al-Baha it could be Damam it could be Koba uh, Koba it could be just anywhere just know your point of entry and know the places i mean you're going to be visiting like i promised uh, one of you who asked me this question i'm going to mention some places you could visit and, and have real fun for instance in riyadh and um, meanwhile i'm actually in riyadh right now yes <laughs> for instance in riyadh you could visit the kingdom tower you could visit the old markets I, I, I don't even know their names but I know the my driver took me to those places to just to see them and you could visit all the heritage villages these are places where you see what Saudi used to be in the past before the whole development you will see their traditions their cultural I mean their cultural heritage they, they are able to preserve them you'll be able to have an insight of what has been going on in this country before the whole oil boom and the whole development came by so these are places you have to visit and you're going to Alaula. Alaula is a very spectacular place. I mean every tourist every tourist should try and visit. 
if you're a Muslim, you already know that you are free to come for your religious tourism in Mecca and Medina. For Christians, you're not allowed to go to the Mecca uh, mosque, but you are. You can go to Medina, but you're not allowed to enter the mosque. So you can just you can just go to Medina, know what the city looks like, and have the history of the place. Yes. Then other places you could visit, which I recently visited, uh, uh, was uh, Jizan. Jizan is in the southern part of Saudi Arabia and it is filled with so many tourist destinations and attractions. But there are recommendations I'm going to be giving you right now because some of the tourist attractions in Jizan are high in the mountain, on the mountain, and you have very spectacular and popular place called Wadi Leji. Wadi means valley. So this place, you have waterfalls, you have all the rocks by your side. It's a spectacular environment to visit. And when you're going there, please don't go with your small car because you're going to be finding it so difficult. You can go with a local tour guide. If you have a friend living in that place, you can contact them and tell them you're coming for, uh, you're coming to see the tourist attractions in these places. A four-wheel drive is, I mean, is recommended, and you must have a very good driving skill for you to drive that road to Wadi Lejib. And I don't advise you if it's going to be raining, please don't go there because. It's not advisable, it's risky. And I'm going to be putting all this as well in the video I made at Wadi Lejib. So don't, let me not rush it, right? <laughs> Meanwhile, if you have been watching up until now and you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Just like this video, share, and then comment. Let me get to hear what you have to say. Uh, can you come to Saudi Arabia for tourism? What other countries have you been to for tourism? Just suggest in the comment section. Who knows, you might be, uh, inviting me to those countries because this is one thing I love most. I love to go to tourist attractions or destinations to see how they are and fill my eyes and my spirit with very lovely and good things from nature and that is where I appreciate God the most. Yes, apart from Wadi Lejib, you can go to uh, Jebel Aswat. Jebel Aswat means Black Mountain and when you go there you will see things for yourself. It's a very lovely environment as well. You can go to Farasan Island. Right now, I didn't go to Farasan Island because it's quite sunny. I want to go there like after two months from now, maybe in November or December. That is when you experience Farasan Island. Uh, that is when you will love the place. Right now, it's very hot and I wouldn't want to be walking on the hot, <laughs> on the hot beach this time. Yes. Then you can go to Abha. There are so many places you can visit in Abha. Abha is also in Asia region. You can visit the Habala, the Rija Alma. You can go to Kamis Michels to see the uh, heritage village there. I think it's Hamsan heritage village. You could see uh, the boulevard if that is of, of interest to you. And when you are packing your backpack, please, if you're a woman, Yes, now abaya is not compulsory and the headgear is also not compulsory but make sure you're wearing something that is very decent that will cover you. You don't, you, you don't have to show your body at least to respect yourself so that others will as well respect you. Aside that, if you're a guy, you don't necessarily need any particular dress code but you have to behave yourself. Alcohol is prohibited in Saudi Arabia and you don't make advances to the opposite gender before you get yourself into trouble so when you come here just respect yourself and respect others and you'll be fine <laughs> i know why i'm putting this out okay then another necessary thing i mean essential that you need to carry with you is a bottle of water just make sure you have a bottle of water even the weather in abha is quite cold not very cold right now but by the time it's getting to november december january it is very very cold and could be drying so make sure you get enough water so that you don't get dehydrated it's the same with jizan towards that time it's cold as well in Riyadh right now it's windy a little i mean but it's not cold and it's not very hot damam is also the same uh in jeddah in maka in medina the weather is pretty much the same it is hot <laughs> because Jeddah and my own town, which is Alkonfuda, I live in Mozaile, a very, very small city on the Jeddah-Jizan Highway. 
it is hot <laughs> when you hear hot it is hot <laughs> that's the simple truth so when you get here just make sure you i mean open your heart to experience what saudi looks like a lot of people ask me what is saudi what does saudi arabia really look like the field is filled with sand with, with sandstorm and camel i mean saudi arabia is so developed it's just like what you will see in other very developed countries that's a simple truth yes you will see sand is the desert the country you will see sand you will see a lot of camels i mean they will work gracefully by you so <laughs> just open your mind to see them as well but it's not all about camels and sand yes they've got waters that's a simple truth in fact red sea cut across red sea and its tributaries cut across the whole cities of saudi arabia that's the simple truth so when you're coming here just open your mind to see a whole lot of things and open your mind to their cultural uh, uh, food you, they will give you capsule rice they will give you chicken jerish they will give you dates dates this is called tamra here you will have to drink arabic coffee called gawa you will have to drink other kinds of coffee as well and you have to eat a whole lot of lamb <laughs> they don't joke with that really they don't and you can get some uh, sweets and some nuts and all that you can get some souvenir for your friends back home uh, it could be in form of clothing it could be in form of flowers it could be in form of home decors and all that so it is really an opportunity for you to experience another side of the world if you're coming from the western countries it's going to be totally different and also the people are nice they are very receptive they're very hospitable so just open your mind and you will experience the fullness of whatever you're looking for right <laughs> they didn't pay for this i'm not advertising for them and uh, i am just saying the way i feel about this place having lived here for so long and having traveled to all these places i'm calling right now <laughs> So that is it for Saudi Arabia Tourism 101, the basic things you need to know. And know that Abha and Al Baha is on the mountain, so when you're driving, it could be very steep, the road, you're driving on the mountains, so you need a very good driving skill. And if you don't have one, please hire a tour guide or a driver. And when you're looking for hotels, you could book online. You can as well get uh, very good hotels when you reach your destination. But if you feel you don't have anybody there, it will be safer to book online and let them come and pick you from the airport. But if you have somebody or you have a friend who stays there, they will help you get very nice hotels. And if you're on budget, there are so many hotels that you can get. It must not be five star, it must not be seven star. You can go for three star, you can go for four star, you can even go for two star. There are some two star hotels that are very, very neat and very lovely. That's the simple truth. And cheap as well, if you're traveling on budget. But if you are the type that, if I have it, I flaunt it, please go all out and get your very nice accommodation. Enjoy and have fun now i've been talking and talking i don't know if you have been listening and listening <laughs> but if you have any question if you're a tourist you have any question about saudi arabia and east tourism and anything you want to know about saudi arabia just hit me up on instagram or on facebook messenger or on linkedin just hit me up send me a message send me an email and i'll be glad to help you out at least once i'm available i'll help you out of course just be, have in mind that i can't help everybody on this planet earth so when you are reaching out to me if i didn't answer you immediately just give me some time but definitely i like to answer people i will make out time answer you and you will be fine and if you're coming here i wish you safe travels i wish you all the best while you're exploring this uh, country and if you have been here please leave it in the comment section which places have you been to which tourist destinations in saudi arabia have you been to please mention it in the comment section maybe it's somewhere i haven't been to i don't mind going there to see things for myself yes we've only got one life to live and we'll make full use of it <laughs> 
so guys i'm going to be ending this here if you have not liked what are you doing share comment subscribe most importantly subscribe and if you have any other queries or comments or whatever leave it in the comment section if it's so private to you hit me up on social media other social media platforms instagram linkedin facebook messenger if you have my number hit me up on whatsapp <laughs> i'll be there right with you and take care of you till i see you next time bye